Hi, welcome to Fairy Moon Chero. We're going to get some spirit messages for the next week. Um, we're going to see, uh, pull some from some oracle decks here and just get some general messages away from tarot, right? Um, and just kind of focus on uh, spiritual messages for the next week. So we're going to start with a, with a spirit animal. All right, so we're going to see what animal, what spirit animal is guiding us this week, what animal you should be on the lookout for. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and start with that. So spirit angels and ancestors, uh, give us a spirit animal for the week, please. What animal will be with us for this week? We got the cougar and the squirrel. Got the cougar and the squirrel. So the squirrel keeps coming out. All right. For like the last couple of weeks, we've had the squirrel, I think. All right. So um, it says always prepared. It's very interesting because I had a squirrel just like run in my path uh, earlier today. Uh, let's see. So it says you are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all that you need. Okay, so you're a blessing to everyone, right? But you need to make a plan for the future. Don't don't allow, don't let yourself to get distracted, okay? Um, and life is gonna give you all that you need with a little with good plans and hard work, okay? You also have the cougar here. It says assertive. Okay, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I've already tried doing one of these uh, readings today, but um, my computer uh, quit recording it like in the, in the middle of it. But I shit you not. <laughs> From the angel deck here, it was um, it was the you know what to do, and then we all know that we keep seeing that 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 uh, uh, that uh, ass ass uh, assuming your leadership position. Okay, you know what to do. Very interesting. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Okay, you just need to make a plan for the future and the life will give you all that you need. Claim your leadership role and take action. Some of you guys are being guided here um, uh, to help others, to spread love, to um, natural born counselors is what was coming up, okay? Uh, so we have the wolf here again as well with the pathfinder, the wolf. Release your past and start a new journey. That was one of the main themes of the of the, uh, the first reading. Letting go of your past and embracing this change. Embracing transformation. Okay? It is time to let go of your past and spread your wings. So it says release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. So yes, it's that teacher, guidance, leader type of energy showing others their way guiding others um there will be challenges but your soul is strong perseverance is your secret power you have a love that endures the first reading was all about love it was all about love matter of fact it was the deer card and it says it's a, the deer card is the love card okay um Yes, you have a love that endures. I see the sea otters again. Very interesting. Woo! So, assertiveness, being prepared, and pathfinder. Release your path 
and start this new journey. Embrace this, this change. What's that say? In silence, you find power and perseverance is your secret power as well. I'm telling you. Um, with this squirrel, you are the expert of hard work and perseverance. Yes. You know where to go and what to do. It's time to take lead and take action. Assert yourself, right? Let's see here. Messages for my collective police spirit. So wolf, squirrel, and the cougar. Yeah, healing. I'm telling you. So same kind of message is coming through, which I just love that about these cards. Yes, I need to get out in, in nature. Notice the harmony around you. Absolutely. I feel like for some of you guys, there is. There's absolutely, there was a message coming through in the first one. Getting out in nature, noticing the nature around you. Um, yes. Needing to go out and get grounded even. Maybe go find this place of silence in nature, right? In silence, you find power, okay? Needing to take a time out in nature and even doing some healing because that was another message coming through in the first one. Um, this need to heal. I feel like you guys have been hurt here. I feel like somebody hurt you and there's been this need for healing and the spirit, it's like one of the main thing, messages was don't allow like this person to... Um, uh, uh, have you all closed off, right? You need to allow light to enter your wounds. This healing energy, this loving energy, allow it to flow. It's all about love here. Um, but healing energy. Some of you guys could really do some, like really, um, get some, some good healing just by getting out in nature, right? That healing. Let's get a feather message for the week. Message for my collective. What else do we need to be aware of? What do we need to be focused on? Words of wisdom. Got the peacock feather here. Oh, that one wanted to come out too. Okay, so you got the peacock. The peacock. Inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. I'm telling you, get prepared. I feel like you're always prepared right here, but um, watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. So yeah, there is a change taking place. You need to embrace this change, embrace this transformation that's taking place in your life here. Inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. So this could be with this healing. Maybe you're going through like a dark night and like an awakening even, right? So you also have the King Fisher. Prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. So prosperity and abundance is flowing. You have the courage and confidence to succeed here. You just that, that, have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. You have the nut hatch as well. Stay grounded. Yes. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. So there is there's some kind of new information, new, new perspective, gaining a new perspective. Um, welcome this. Spirit is saying, welcome this new, this new perspective. Welcome this change. Embrace this transformation that you're going through here. Okay? Yes. Stay grounded. There's a need, there's something to do with getting grounded here. Um, okay. Welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. Okay. You have Archangel Michael here saying you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Bottom of the deck is Archangel Michael again. Crystal clear attention, intentions. 
Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Right? Be crystal clear. Set your intentions. Well, that one wanted to come out. Yes. Very interesting. This is actually flew out in the pre-shuffle. All is well. Archangel Jeremiel. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. I'm telling you, prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. Hidden blessings, you will soon understand. All is well, and you are safe. I like it. Okay. Clear your space with Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. So uh, clear the energy around you, whether that's meditating, this healing energy, this getting grounded energy, clearing your inner work, you know, your inner energy. Um, but I feel like this is also cleaning up, like, off, you know, cleaning up the, sp the clutter in your home, getting rid of shit you don't use anymore, you know, just spring cleaning, right? Spring cleaning. Yes. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, see? Clairvoyance with Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. It's all about love. But this is, this is this, um, stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you because your angels are speaking to you here. Welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Let's get an uh, angel number for the week, please. Evolving. This is this awakening. This is this growth. This is this um, this spiritual sight uh, uh, awakening here, right? This is all this change, this transformation that we keep seeing here. It says substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change. Oh my gosh, you guys. A need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I'm telling you, substantial change is in your future. This is amazing. Embrace the change and a need to let go, need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Why? Because you are confident. You are confident. Oh my gosh. Where is it at? You have the courage. Where to go? I hate when I can't find them again. Where did I see that at? Well, hell. Oh, right in front of my damn face. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. I am confident. I am, I'm telling you. So there is, there's a major change taking place, y'all. Embrace this change. It's getting late, y'all. Sorry. You are a conscientious, conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. Creator. And opt it. That's that crystal clear intentions we were seeing as well. Set them intentions and focus on them with unwavering faith, right? Because you 
have a knack with coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. Yeah, it's our thoughts create our reality. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. The number 13, I am confident. So this is all just, I love how these readings just come together like this. All right. So I am confident. Uh, uh, embrace this change, okay? Let go of these fears and, and allow this change. Um, I'm telling you, so this is you, you, you're determined and, and on. Oh my gosh. It's so late, you guys. You have to, uh, I'm sorry. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track. See? So you are the expert of hard work, but don't let life's distractions take you off course, take you off track here. Um, okay. Working steadily towards your goals. Remember, you're going to be taken care of. Life will give you all that you need. Just make a plan, make this plan. And just know you're going to be, you know, you know you're going to succeed. Let go of these fears and these insecurities. Okay. So, the, you have the blessing of just being. The blessing of just being. You may have been thinking that if you had acted or chosen differently in the past, things would be better now. But in thinking this way, you fail to see the positive effects your past actions and choices have had on both yourself and others. Look closely and you will see many blessings. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Okay? So... You know, with all this healing and shit, allow light to enter your wounds. I feel like you guys were, like, knocked down. Someone hurt you, made you feel like you weren't good enough or whatever the case was. But, um, don't, 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 uh, trick yourself into thinking that if any, if you were to have acted differently or done things differently, things would have turned out differently because it wouldn't. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to, right? So, need to let go of this past, all this past energy, allow this change, right? In silence, you find power. So, the bottom of the deck is your blessed power, all right? You are a field of endless possibility with unlimited power to create Every atom of you is full of abstract potential that can be molded into any form. Every particle of you holds the blueprint of creation. You are a force of nature and a great blessing on this earth. So you are a force of nature. Notice the harmony around you. Woo! Can't keep you down. All right, so let's see her. Spirit saying, use your creativity, her. You have the angels and the spirit guides here. Yes, I'm telling you. Angels and spirit guides are absolutely with you at this time. I feel like you have a strong connection to the spiritual realm. This is the spiritual realm reaching out to you here. I am helping your spiritual light, sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love with the clairvoyance. Right? Being connected to your angels, your spirit guides, the upper world. You could do well to work with angel light this week. The number two could be significant. I see that you overcoming difficulties here with Archangel Jeremiel again. So Archangel Michael and Archangel Jeremiel are really helping you right now. All right. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges with the overcoming difficulties. All right. Spirit is saying that you may have some kind of idea here. Brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. All right. So we were just seeing that somewhere else too. Need to act. Needing to act on this. All right. Um, 
sensitivity, Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Healing, right? Allow light to enter your wounds. All right. Honor yourself and your feelings. See here, it's almost like this gal is sitting out in nature as well. All right, so, yeah. So whatever these challenges are, you're overcoming them. All right, it's very interesting because you have these, I'm telling you, angels and spirit guides are helping you. I am helping you to overcome to i'm telling you these challenges overcoming difficulties angels and spirit guides and challenge Whew. you are safe all is well you are overcoming all these challenges and spirit angels they're helping you through this you have the fulgurite here and the number five that's all about change as well Okay, with the lightning. So you have the lightning here. Mm. So whatever challenges you've been going through, just know that you are being guided through here. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. I'm telling you, if you have some kind of idea here, it is being divinely guided for sure. For sure. Angels and spirit guides all around you. Messages for my collective. A message, please. Thank you. Listen to your spirit guides. They'll show you the way. Wow. Listen to your spirit, guys. They'll show you the way. I just love these readings. Every single day is a gift from the universe. Treat it as one. Got the number four, got the number 23 here, breaking down to a five. Okay. Five, five, change, master number, five, five. Yeah, there's change taking place here, but you're being guided. I feel like you guys have went through a challenging time here. There's been a need for healing, whatever it is for your situation, whatever these challenges were. Um, man, let's go ahead and get the closing message for the week. Listen to your spirit, guys. They'll show you the way. Okay, closing message, please, spirit. you answering the call the time is now answering the call yeah you're being called to action you are being called to action i'm telling you what let's see what it says bottom of the deck is a narrow pathway tread thoughtfully we're going to read this, though. It's very... Wow. I, you know how I told you the deer came out in the first reading? Look at there. Little deer. Love. Answering the call. The time is now. The time... Yeah. So one of the ones that came out in the first one was the, the time to spread your wings. Answering the call. You've been called 
The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now, you've been called and a gateway is opening for communications from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it is now time to act and go forward. The sacred traveler wants you to know spirit is trying to get your attention. Right now, your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Your time is now. Do it now. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. Believe. Trust. Follow the signs. There will be many. And miracles will abound. Woo! I got goosebumps all over. I am telling you what. Spirit and your angel guides are absolutely showing you the way. All is well. You're being blessed. You are safe. You're being protected. Who you're being called. I'm telling you substantial changes in your life, in your future. Embrace the change. Let go of fears. I'm telling you what. That is just beautiful. So spirit and angel is trying to show you signs, synchronicities. Spirit is speaking to you. You are being called to action with this, with this, with this um, lightning bolt. It is. It's like a wake up call or something here. Um, <laughs> creativity. Creativity. It's all about this creativity here. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. Wow. I just love these readings. Spirit's saying your time is now. Do it now. Wow. Trust, follow the signs. There will be many. Blessings abound. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You're being called to take your leadership position. Whatever that is for you. Some of you guys are being called because you're natural born counselors. Helping others spread, you know, through love. Um, you have <laughs> this pathfinder. All right, you guys. Woo, that was a, I, I just love these readings. That was a powerful one. That's what I have for you for the week, though. Um, pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities. All right, your spirit and, spirit and angels, your guides are absolutely speaking to you. Pay attention, right? We got squirrels, cougars, the, the wolves. Don't forget the deer. Okay, I feel like the deer is very significant this week. Then the whale. We got the whale here as well. And the peacock. I don't know how easily it is to spot nut hatchers or nut hatching kingfishers, but peacocks, whales, 5'5, five, five, 13, all right, uh, wolves, cougars, and squirrels. Pay attention to the signs. Listen to your guides. You're being shown the way. Whew. All right, you guys. Have a good week. And until next time, love, light, blessings.